Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Okay. Okay, we're going to start to fight. Going to start simple. Don't let's say let Kelly Kelly's coat the tip of the garden. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll join us for the commencement of the minor hurling final. County Tipperary senior final here as is changed in the hall at Simple Stadium. And Nina and Nakabella. Lean on the ball with Shane Connolly. Uh, with Brian Shanahan. Cleared up by Nakavella out to the far side. The fade going very close to the far side and out over the sideline. Sideline cut on the far side, send in by. Uh, Shane Connolly in towards the full forward as Kevin Conan across the square. Broken down towards Brian Shanahan, a shot, two shot is blocked down by central half back Aiden Statry. The referee penalising the old man for a foul and it's a free out to Nakavella Kickhams. Nakavella team in goals PJ Horgan, the full back line Clive Morrissey, James McCormack, and Vincent Bradshaw. The half forward line, James Far half back line James Farrell, Aiden Statry, and Donald O'Brien. The ball broken in the middle of the field. A stick to it there of Fergal Hines. Still Fergal batting for it. With the centre half forward, Sean Buckley. Sean on the ground, close the far side. Close his corner forward. Out comes the fullback David Creamer. Into the hands of the ski man. He's called in possession. That's the wing forward, Seamus Hennessy. And it's a free in to Nakavella. Our kick comes out there, known in the west. They'll own a partner for Kickhams, Paul Morrissey and Aidan Butler. The half-forward line, Brian Horgan, Sean Buckley and Seamus Hennessy. And that one tapped over the bar by... ...the Nakavella. Corner forward as Christy McLaughlin. Seamus Cushion putting that one between the posts. Christy McLaughlin with the puck out. And he's on the 40-metre line. Cleared up by Nakabella, cleared to send in field there by uh, Mervyn Scanlon. Up to the middle. Fergal Hines trying to get a stick to it, succeeds in doing so. Out to the far side, picked up by Aidan Butler of Nakabella. Along the far side, towards the far side of the field. Picked up on the far side by Aidan Henley. Across field, in towards his full forward. That's Robbie Yally. Robbie and David Cream are batting for it. The ball going very close to the end line and eventually gone off the stick of the European at the expense of a 65. David Lockton, the full back line, Rory Flannery, David Creamer and David McAuliffe, the half back line, Frank McGrath, Fergal Hines and Shane Connolly, 
the midfielders, John Tucker and Mervyn Scanlon. The half forward line, Robbie Tomlinson, Brendan Shanahan, and Podrick O'Kennedy. That one's in around the house, picked up there by Christy McLaughlin in the goals. Out field from Christy, the arrow goalkeeper, towards the direction of his uh, wing forward, Robbie Tomlinson. But picked up eventually by an arrow, by an arrow man sent in towards the full back. That's James McCormack of Nakavilla, sit up over the side on the far side of the field. In on the park of OIRO, John Tucker and Mervyn Scanlon, the half forward line, right half forward, Robbie Tomlinson, centre half forward, Brendan Sc Shanahan, and left half forward, Podrick O'Kennedy, and the full forward line, top of the right, Kevin Tucker, full forward, Kevin Coonan, and top of the left, Declan O'Mara, with the side and cut, is Shane Connolly, across the square, back to there by backs and forwards, all over the end line and wide. PJ Horgan with the puck out. Referee requesting the players outside the 20 meter line. The puck out broken. Now the referee pulled it on the ground. And the man trying to get his foot to it. Didn't succeed. It comes on the stick of Frank McGrath and eventually all over the sideline. Ref Linesman has chased his decision. I thought for a moment it was an air oak ball, but linesman indicating that it was an air oak ball, not a knock of a ball. The referee wanting the players back the 10 metres. The sideline cut to be taken by Frank McGrath. Punchies. Cuts it in towards Brendan Shanahan. Get out to the side of the field. Coming very close to his side. They're kicking on the ground by Brian Horgan. Also back there to get ahead is Fergal Hines. Fergal fouled in possession by Sean Buckley and a free to air oak. The free to be taken by Fergal. Centre half back Fergal. Half hits that one. Comes to Mervyn Scanlon. Slips into the headset, sends it in, grabs it inside by the cornerback, that's Vincent Bradshaw. For Nakavella, Vincent penalised for over carrying and a free in. Two. Robbie with the free, he's 29, 30 metres out from the Nakavella goals in and over the bar. It's time to burn our coast scoring ish. In a Karun, Kuli Nawan. Kanaka Villa, Kuli Nawan. As PJ Horgan with the puck out towards the far side of the field. Kept in play over there by the wing back James Farrell up along the far side line. Racing back there to get it is centre half forward Sean Buckley. Been pursued all the way by Fergal Hines. Fergal walking away over Sea of Players. He shot his block down. Bob Ruffin in towards the full power, that's Rory, Bobby Allen. He's been going in there by the cornerback, Rory Flannery, out to the far side of the field, out to a loose man, that's John Tucker on the far side, John picking it up nicely, sending it up along the far side, towards the direction of his wing forward, Paddy O'Kennedy. Leaves it run inside to uh, the 13, that's Kevin Tucker. Kevin has shot lowish in towards the full forward, Kevin Coonan. Coonan trying to get in a second attempt, succeeds to so out towards Tucker. On the far corner, Tucker very close to the end line, back across the feet towards Tomlinson. Broken back, it comes eventually to Robbie Tomlinson, picks it up nicely, looks to be fouled, and passes it outside to Shanahan, Brendan. A shot from Brendan. A goal! Brendan Shanahan, the scorer. Brendan Shanahan, the scorer, Robbie Tomlinson, the provider. And the ball in the back of the net. In the old Nina, one goal one point. Not the better chickens, one point. And interestingly enough, Brendan Shanahan's father, Shane, knocking it in. Brian Shanahan challenging for the hole in there. Picked up a bit 
Sealed by six and a half back. Aiden Statue from Nakabella. He shot his back down. Three five seconds into the corner back. That was Clive Morrissey. He shot his back down in time. It's picked up by Libby Stella. Brian Shannon getting a stick to it. It's Kevin by uh, Rick Dixon and Ira. And the far side cleared up by six and a half back. Aiden Statue. Very close to the far side there. Picked up there by John Tucker. He shot his back down. Very close to the sideline. Must be got over the sideline. Showing the result of that one, or is it an aero good? It's an aero sideline cut. Not for a moment, the flag has been held aloft. Puck Tave Lena, the aero. Sideline cut to be taken by Shane Connolly. Puts it in towards Robbie Tomlinson. Picked up inside by that number 13, that's Kevin Tucker. Tucker out to uh, Shanahan, a shot from Shanahan, this one to the right and wide. PJ Horgan with the puck out. Cleared up by cornerback, Clive Morrissey. Picked up by uh, Fergal Hines, dropped by Fergal. Being challenged all the way there by Sean Buckley, followed by Buck, followed by Hines, and a free to Nakavella. The free to be taken by wing back Tony O'Brien. Tony O'Brien with the free. He's 50 meters from his own goals. Lock it down the far side. And then by Nakavella, but racing out there to get ahead is cornerback Rory Flannery. Cleared up, Hardy pulling over there, Shane Connolly getting a stick to it. Up to uh, John Tucker, John Tucker over to Shane Connolly. Connolly up along the sideline to Kennedy. Party, the ball beats both of them. Out over the sideline. Sideline cut to Nakavella. Aero playing with a strong breeze in the first half, playing from left to right as we look down on the pitch here. A sideline cut on the far side to be taken by James Farrell. Cuts it along the sideline. Zero hook, eventually by the arrow, out to John Tucker in the middle. Audio Kennedy had to get a stick to it. James Farrell battling for it. Picked up by Fergal Hines. Fergal takes an opposite, comes out with that one. It's eventually cleared up by Sh uh, Connolly. Shane out over the sideline on the far side of the field. to be taken by Fergal Hines he's about 72 73 meters out from the Nakavella goes sends it in towards his full back and full forward comes off the full forward gone out over the end line and wide that's comes off the chest there of Kevin Coon for a wide ball the score line remains Nina one goal on the point Nakavella one point and I make it 12 minutes gone in the first half a shortish box out only comes to Brendan Shanahan Brendan looking up can he amend that one he sends it in but he sends it out over the end line and wide the puck out tried to this side of the field Robbie Tomlinson grabbing it tried to lift it at the third attempt, sending it in, and can this be a point? It looks good, it comes off the post. Two Nakabella men going for together. One of those is the cornerback, Clive Morrissey, being hooked all the way there by uh, Kevin Conan across two, uh, 13, Kevin Tucker. And the referee penalizing the aerog man for a foul. That was Brian Shanahan, or Brendan Shanahan, and a free out two. 
na kadhala Cut taken comes to this side of the field. Ball behind the batting goal is taken by Joe by Brian Hogan from Nakavella. Ball around the ground. A plate back to Sean Buckley. Sean being chased out of the way by Fogel. Gets his shot in and turns his foot forward. Broken inside. Uh, turns the foot forward. Bobby Yanni. Bobby trying to walk his way in. Didn't succeed. Pass it out to his corner forward. That's shameless cussing. Oh, uh, that's Aiden Henry. Henry on the point by Aiden Henry. Bobby Yali the provider and Aidan Henney the scorer. The scoreline reads, Nakavella two points, Aero the goal on a point as Christian McLaughlin's puck out comes to Brian Shanahan. Try to get room to swing his stick but over carry the ball and it's a free to Nakavella. This free to be taken by Aidan Slattery. Lowish one into the breeze towards Brian Hargan. Shane Connolly tried to get a stick to it. Eventually cleared out by Frank McGrath out to the side of the field. Out of the of Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie tried to get to lift it. Beaten to it there by the wing back. That's Donny O'Brien fouling Robbie in a free two. Aero Gnina. Referee Tommy Londrigan indicating the position of the free. Tommy Mart Finnan. The, the free to be taken by Robbie Tomlinson. And this one going, going to the left and wide. Quite a stiffish breeze here at Simple Stadium. The flag's really, really blowing. Puck out taken to the far side of the field. John Tucker battling for it over there. Ball gone very close to the sideline, gone out over the sideline on the far side of the field. Off the stick of the Nakavella man. Shane Connolly with the sideline cut. Puts it across the centre. Grabbed nicely there by Donny O'Brien. In pursuit all the way by. Robbie Tomlinson out to his wing back. That's James Farrell. James is clearance out over the far sideline. Sideline cut to Aero. <coughs> sideline cut with Shane Connolly. Broken down inside. Nakavella man penalised for fouling. That's the Aidan Butler and a flee into Aero and Robbie Tomlinson. A very packed crowd into the new stand over on the far side of the field for this county minor final. A free by taken by Tomlinson, the tapped in by Tomlinson and over the bar. The scoreline reads, Erog, one goal and two. Nakavella, two points. The ball broken out to centre half back, Aidan Slattery. He's up to his midfield man, Paul Morrissey. Paul on a solo run. Being chased by Brian Shanahan. Still Paul. He's made 60, 70 yards. Chaps it inside. Two, Shane Connolly who clears it off for Erog. Out to John Tucker. Took his eye off the ball, but eventually clears it out to the far side of the feed. Out to the midfield man, Mervyn Scanlon. Mervyn along the ground. Two, Paul o Kennedy. Kennedy batting for it. With the wing back, cleared off by James Farrell. Only comes out to John Tucker. Half hits that one. In towards this side of the field. Out towards Brian Shanahan. Picked up by Sugar half back. Aiden Stats are by wing back. James Farrell. Uh, John O'Brien. Goldie O'Brien to the midfielder. Aiden Butler. A shot from Butler. This one going to the right and wide.
the puck out by Christy McLaughlin. Holly O'Kelly getting a stick to it. In towards Robbie Tomlinson, loose for a moment. Robbie, going to make ground towards goals. One, two, three men, loose men outside him. Tries to go it alone to succeed in doing so and taps it over the bar. Robbie Tomlinson, the scorer. Nina, one goal and three. Nakavilla, two points. And three of those points coming from the stick of Robbie Tomlins and the goal coming from the stick of Brendan Shanahan. There is 18 and a half minutes gone in the first half. That puck only comes out as far as Kevin Tucker. He's trying to send in, filled up by cornerback Vincent Bradshaw. Out to the centre. Grabbed there by Aidan Butler. Up to the far side of the field. Racing back there to get him will be centre half forward, Sean Buckley. In towards the corner forward. McAuliffe backing for it in there. Fergal Hines picks it up, looks to be foul. This foul is a free to Aerog. And the rain begins to come down here now at Simple Stadium. The free taken by Fergal going very close to the sideline, our far sideline, going out over the sideline, despite the efforts there of Dixon O'Mara. The sideline call on the far side to be taken by Clive Morrissey, the cornerback. Puts it in field, grabbed up there by Paulio Kennedy. He's pushed off the ball. Cleared out there by Farrell, out to the midfielder, Aiden Butler. Aiden gets on his marker and pass it outside to uh, Sean Buckley. Sean Buckley hit, hits his that one. It breaks inside to Dave McAuliffe of Aero. McAuliffe out to the far side. John Tucker battling for it. Keeps it along the ground. Tim Marvin Scandal in the middle. Gets a boat to it, but eventually sends it out over the sideline. Sideline cut on the far side to be taken by Aidan Slattery. Shane Connolly picking it up under the new stand, sending it up along the far sideline, out over the sideline. And certainly the linesman on the far side, the busier of the officials so far. And I make it 21 minutes gone in the first half. Puck Tavelina. The Canucka Villa. Aidan Ostatra cuts it in to centre half forward. Sean Buckley. Buckley's clearance in field. Left inside to corner forward. Sean Cuss on the shot. Comes across field. Ken McGarry gets a stick to it. Broken out to the side of the field. The grass still backing for it. It's with the, the wing forwards. Um, Brian Harbin a shot from the point. <laughs> Brian Harbin the scorer. The scoreline reads. Nakavella, three points. Their old Nina, one goal and three. A clear goal between the seams as the ball is broken out to the middle. Pugging on the ground there by Aiden Butler. Into the centre, Fergal Hines getting a boot to it. Pugging on the ground by Brian Hogan, scoring the point a few moments ago. Broken back to Fergal Hines. Some hefty pulling in there. The ball broken out to McAuliffe, David. Out to John Tucker. He shot his block down. Back helping his defence. Sending it upfield. Up towards direction of Paddy O'Kennedy. Or Robbie Tomlinson, I should say. Robbie tried to get home to swing his stick. And eventually the ball comes off the stick of the Nakavilla man out over the sideline. Shane Connolly with the sideline cut. In towards Robbie Tomlinson. Picked up by John Tucker. Walks into a sea of players, look to be foul. The free waving play on is picked up by Aidan Butler. Out to the middle. Cleared up field. Up towards the direction of the corner forward, Seamus Cousin and McAuliffe. Well read there by Fergal Hines. Keeps it on the ground to John Tucker. John, when he gets the break of the ball, succeeds in doing so. Broken to the centre. And on the ground by Scanlon to Tomlinson. He's beaten to it by Butler. 
picked up by Paul Morrissey. Morrissey to this side of the field. Two, Horgan. Horgan with the ball on these sticks. Sends it to the opposite direction towards Seamus Cousin. Nakavilla coming in waves at the moment. The ball eventually stopped there by David Kreener. Broken inside to 14. Bobby Elliott, his shot is blocked down by uh, cornerback Rory Flannery. Rory fouled the possession and a free out to Aerog. Rory's free up towards the direction of Brian Shanahan. Needs to run past him. Picked up inside by. Uh, looks like Kevin, now uh, looks like Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie Tomlinson pulling the air there by Mervyn Scanlon. Inside to Brian Shanahan. Along the ground from Brian, this one goes hoppily hop down over the end line and wide. 24 and a half minutes gone. Sorry, 23 and a half minutes gone. In the first half, the scoreline remains. Nina, 1-3. Nakavilla, 3 points. The ball comes out to centre half back, Aidan Slattery. Up to centre half forward, Sean Buckley. Ahead of Hines. Up towards the breaks back to a, uh, David McCullough. McCullough points into back to uh, Brian Horgan. Horgan in field two. A loose man, but that loose man wasn't there, and the ball goes out over the end line and wide. The puck out by Christy McLaughlin. Brian Shanahan picking it up nicely, sending it towards his corner forward, Dixon O'Mara, Dixon up quite up to now, will he make a name for himself, just trying to walk his way inside, pass it outside to a Nakavilla man, that Nakavilla man is the corner back, Clive Morrissey, stalemate over there, the referee may have to blow a whistle I think, the ball eventually appears over that rock, and uh, as Mihal O'Hara would say, a little shimazel has developed. Annam, St. Laura Retor, that's number 14, Kevin Coonan. And the man about to take the free, or the man about to throw the ball to the referee, that's for uh, Vincent Bradshaw in the referee's book, so full forward and cornerback, having their names inscribed in the referee's book. That ball eventually out to uh, James Farrell. Paddy O'Kelly getting a stick to it, but gone very close to the sideline despite the efforts of uh, Declan O'Hara out over the sideline. Or is it? It wasn't. It is now. It's sideline cut to Aaron Nina. This sideline cut to be taken by Shane Connolly. on the ground by Tomlinson, in towards O'Mara in the corner. Picked up by Aidan Butler. Sent in by John Tucker, broken inside nicely for Brian Shanahan. Inside to a loose man, that loose man is the cornerback, Brian Vincent Bradshaw, and he clears it out to his wing back. Who continues the process upfield. Up towards the direction of centre half forward, Sean Buckley, across field towards uh, Brian Horgan. Well read there by McAuliffe. For a log, out to the middle. Picked up by centre half back Aiden Statsy. Out to midfielder Aiden Butler. And as Nakavilla get behind our team, sending it in, Christy McLaughlin comes for that one. It could be dangerous. He's grabbed there by Christy. Tries to work his way out of a sea of players. Succeeds in those are clearing it outfield. Out to the centre. Two Nakavilla men going for it. One of those is Paul Morrissey. But he only sends it to a midfield man, John Tucker for a look. A look. Clearance upfield. Grabbed by the cornerback, but picked up by Robbie Tomlinson. Trying to get home to swing his stick, hand pass it instead to uh, Kevin Conan. Inside to Declan O'Mara, short and a goal! <laughs> Robbie Tomlinson and Declan O'Mara finally found the ball in the back of the net. And in that move as well, Kevin Tucker. 
The scoreline reads two goals and three for Air Ognina, three points for Nakavilla. The ball broken out to the centre. Nakavilla on the attack. With centre half back, that's Aidan Statry. Sent in by Brian Horgan. Picked up there by uh, Shane Connolly. Shane playing very well in the first half. Two Nakavilla men going for that one. None of them get it. It's broken back to the full back. That's James McCormack. McCormack getting a stick to it up the field. Up towards the centre. Players batting for there, and one of those is Seamus Hennessy. He fouls Shane Connolly. That was Puck sailed the air over. The free to be taken by Fergal Hines. Lobs in around the house. Nakavilla tried to clear it. Cleared eventually by centre halfback Aidan Statry out to the centre. Picked up by Seamus Hennessy. Seamus is hooked by Shane Connolly. Still Hennessy. Half lies in the ball. It's with uh, Horgan, Sean, along the ground. Up to this side of the field. Up comes the cornerback. That's Rory Flannery. Getting ahead to it. Clearing it up the field. Up towards uh, the full forward, Kevin. Coonan, the ball very close to this side and kept in play by Mervyn Scanlon. Mervyn, always hits it back to Tony O'Brien for Macavilla. O'Brien on a solo run, takes a hefty challenge, holds onto the ball, eventually clears it to the far side of the field. To the number nine, Aiden Butler. Aiden is tripped by John Tucker. And uh, I think referee, yes, referee Tommy Landrigan. We we'll put the name of John Tucker in the book for that one. It didn't look to be a uh, I make it 31 minutes has elapsed. Referee checks the watch. And can this be the last puck of the first half? The scoreline reads, Nina, two goals on three. Nakavilla, three points as Paul Morrissey sends that one in. Breaking inside. Cleared up by cornerback, Rory Flannery. And there goes the half-time whistle. A half-time whistle leaves again on the scoreline off. Here old Nina, two goals on three. Nakavilla kickens, three points. Could he test no one down the last long before? Nakavella Kickens, and it's Kickens on the attack to Paul Morrissey. 
and the first three of the game falls, second half falls to Nakamela Kickham for a foul on Sean Buckley. This one to be taken, sends in around the house. Fergal Hines getting a stick to it, broken inside too. Same as Hennessy, steals eventually out to the centre of the field. Melvin Scanlon trying to get a stick to that one. Broken two, the number nine, Aidan Booker for Nakavilla. Shot from Aidan and this looks a good point. It's gone to the left, I'm afraid, and it's gone wide. The score end remains, Nina, two goals and three. Nakavilla kickens, three points. Nina Naharu on the corner, a toss new one down the left. As Christy McLaughlin pucks that one out into the breeze, picked up by Fergal Hines. Fergal getting home to swing his stick, succeeding doing so, sends it into the centre. Robbie Thomason will get that one. His shot is blocked down there by Aidan Butler. Batting for a good Robbie. The Nakabella man with the ball in his hand, foul in possession and a free two. Canafavilla. One switch on the Aeroog team. Brian Shanahan at full forward and Kevin Coonan at wing forward on the Aeroog team. That one sent in by Paul Morrissey. It's gone to the left and it's gone wide. Chris Thorne with Lachlan, with the buck out to the far side of the field, towards the direction of John Tucker. Left there by Frank McGrath. Frank still batting for it. Frank from... Clears halfway to Brian's Fergal Hines. Fergal, least his marker in his wake, sending it up along the far sideline. Towards the far sideline, going very close to the sideline. The referee has blown his whistle and awards a free two. Or has he? It's a sideline cut two. It's a free to air old to be taken by Kevin Coonan. Kuvina Coonan. <laughs> 53, 54 metres out from the Nakavella goes a little to the right of the post. Sends it in. Grabbed in there by cornerback Vincent Bradshaw. Cleared out the field. Only comes out as far as uh, Kevin Coonan. Kevin trying to get home to swing his stick, Sox season doing so, into Robbie Tomlinson, or into Paulie O'Kennedy, across to Tomlinson, picked up by the fullback James McCormack, clear out to the far side of the field, ball going up towards the direction of Frank McGrath, picked up nicely by Frank, going very close to the far side and tries to keep it in place, Sox season doing so, sends it in low, in towards the, picked up there by the cornerback Vincent Bradshaw, sent out to the far side of the field. Fergal Hines with the Sean Buckley batting for it, broken back to Shane Connolly. Shane playing very well in the first half and starting the second half in a likewise manner. Puck sail the air rogue. Fergal Hines, team captain. With the free. 72 metres out from the Nakavella goals. In around the house, broken inside to uh, Robbie Tomlinson eventually. Looking up, looks to be fouled. Referee giving him advantage. Staying in over on the far side of the field. And I'm afraid the referee will have to sort that one out. A throw in results. Kevin Coonan and John James Farrell. Ball broken inside to the centre. Cleared up by uh, Clive Morrissey. Out to the centre of the field. Grabbed up there by Frank McGrath. Who sends it in? Between corner, back and corner forward. Grabbed in there by Dick and O'Mara. Dick and trying to work his way in. Is that a hole? Dick and O'Mara's second goal. Frank McGrath. A long probing clearance. But Dick and O'Mara disposing of the ball in the back of the way. That ball cleared up by Aiden Spatry. Aiden is fouled in possession and it's to free from where the ball lands, I think. Puck sale. From where the ball ends. Oh. 
the free send in and send out to the left and wide that one off the stick of uh, looks like corner forward Seamus Cousin yes Seamus sending that one to the left and wide Erog, three goals and three. Nakavella, three points, and the pundits were saying this will be a runaway victory for Erog. They seem to have it got it right as Shane Connolly gets a stick to that one. Back to John Tucker. John in the middle of the field. Turning it up towards Paddy O'Kennedy. Towards um, Robbie Tomlinson, who keeps it on the ground. Towards the far corner. Towards the number 13, Kevin Tucker. A shot from Kevin that was clearly in the Erog. Three four for Erog. Three points from Nakavella. And knock a better man injured on the far side of the field as referee. Referee just checking his welfare. We resume with a back out to Nakavella. To PJ Horgan, out to the centre. Melvin Scanlon, Scanlon getting a stick to it. Good up paid by Paddy O'Kennedy. Broken back two. That's James Farrell for Nakavella. Picked up by central half back Aidan Slattery. The Nakavella man clearing it up feed. Up towards John Tucker in the centre. Well read there by central half forward Shea Sean Buckley, but cleared up by central half back uh, Fergal Hines. Up to the far side of the feed towards Kevin Tucker. Keeps it in the ground towards Brian Shanahan. The score of a goal in the first half. Shanahan being to that one. Broken out towards Kevin, uh, towards Kevin Coonan. Coonan across feed towards Shanahan. Britain eventually towards uh, O'Kennedy, Pardy. A shot from Pardy, is lobbing in around the house. PJ Horgan under that one, broken inside to... Eventually comes out to Pardy O'Kennedy, gets a second back of the cherry, but sends it to the right and sends it wide. Three goals and four. Ferrano Ero, three Corrine, Ferrano. Kamakavilla. And it must be at, said that Nakavilla are playing with that strong breeze in the second half. The puck out is taken by fullback James McCormack. Frank McGuire got a stick to it. Broken back to Fergal Hines. Hand pass it outside to an open space. To John Tucker, picked up by Melvin Scanlon. And the referee penalising the Nakavilla man for a late challenge on uh, John Tucker and Anna Ellis and Laurel and Ray Tor. And even the referee's book. And the referee will award the free to Edo where the ball landed. The man to be penalised was Paul Morrissey. The referee going to throw in the ball. How far would he award the free? Throwing in the ball. Morrissey gets the, the ball in the hand, tries to get rid of the swinging stick, succeeds in doing so. Up towards Shane Connolly. Well read there by Dave McAuliffe. Pull in the middle. Broke them back eventually to wing back. That's Dylan O'Brien from Nakavilla in the, the house. Now broken inside two. It's well read by cornerback Rory Flannery. Out to this side of the field. Four in a row. Kept along the ground by Shane Connolly. All over the sideline. Puck Tave Lena there to Nakavilla. Sideline cut, send in by Paul Morrissey. Broken in the centre, Shane Connolly trying to get a stick to it. McAuliffe getting it out further. Out to the centre, it comes to uh, Paul Morrissey. A shot from Paul under the home of Christy McLaughlin. Christy McLaughlin with the clearance out to the far side. The field out over the far sideline. Sideline cut on the far side. Ford Nakavella floats it in nicely. Fergal Hines got a stick to that one, gone out over the end line, wide off the stick of the Seamus Hennessy, and it's a, it's a wide ball. 
The puck out to Aero. 3-4 to three points, the scoreline. And there is 11 and a half minutes gone in the second half. The puck out to this side of the field from Christie. Finds Mervyn Scanlon. Paddy O'Kennedy going for that one. Two players taking a knock there. Broken down to Fergal Hines. Both players happy to stay on their feet. The ball broken back to Vincent Bradshaw. He's staying made over there. Eventually send in toss uh, Brian Shanahan inside to a loose man. And that loose man is... The ball comes off the post. Was number 10 was Robbie Tomlinson. Will Robbie get a second by the cherry? Brendan Shannon has shot and it's gone to the left and it's gone wide. I think Robbie Tomlinson had taught that ball and had gone into the back of the net, but the post there providing the enemy and that ball eventually sent out over the end line and wide. Oh, had gone. We have McCormick put the puck out. Grabbed there by John, uh, J John Tucker to this side of the field. Out to get it will be uh, Paddy O'Kennedy to uh, corner forward Dixon O'Mara. Dixon, the scorer of two goals across the field towards Tomlinson. Tomlinson loose on the far side. Shanahan loose on the outside. Looking up, back to Shanahan, Brendan. Across the goals and over the bar from Brendan Shanahan bringing his scoreline to a goal and two points, bringing a rogue scoreline to three goals and five, and Nakavilla scoreline to three points. We've 12 minutes gone in the 15 minutes gone in the second half. As Nakavilla, James McCormack, puts the ball out to the centre. Picked up by James Farrell. By far the best Nakavilla man on view. Sends it across field. Shane Connolly trying to get a stick to it. Shoves it outside to Frank McGrath. He's on the wing back. Frank trying to get room to swing his stick. Surrounded by Nakavilla players. One of those is James Farrell. Cleared out to the side of the field. It comes out to Paddy O'Kennedy. Across field from Paddy. To a Nakavilla number 11. That's Sean Buckley. Sean has difficulty lifting it. Succeeds in getting it. Delivery again. Fergal Hines comes out ahead of it. It's broken to uh, the number 12. That's Brian. Uh, that's uh, Seamus Hennessy. Inside two. But picked up by uh, Fergal Hines. Fergal fouled in possession and a free out to uh, old Nino. Nakavella defeated Cashel in their West Final and Bally Bacon Grange in the County Semi. While Aerobe Nina defeated Holy Cross in the County Semi Final. It's back with Brendan Shanahan and Lois Clearance in towards uh, Dickie O'Mara. Declan trying to get around his mark for Sox season going so. Can he make it a hat trick for Declan? And Shanahan is a point for Declan this time. Three goals and six. Aero has the ball broken out to John Tucker. Sends it back in again. But only back there is Vincent Bradshaw, the cornerback for Nakavilla. Being hooked off the ball there by uh, Dick, uh, Kevin Tucker. Staying made on the far side. Send in eventually. With, fo uh, with fullback, James McCormack. He shot his half block down. The ball comes out eventually to centre halfback, Aidan Statry. Finds the midfield man, Paul Morrissey. Paul's delivery upfield, only up to Frank McGrath, the Aero wing back, takes his eye off that ball. Out to uh, the wing back, Donny O'Brien. Send in field, going, going, and gone over the bar. And got his, and grabbed inside back, Christian McLaughlin. Christian McLaughlin with delivery, out to the far side of the field, gone over the far sideline. And I think if Tipperary minor selectors were looking at that, they'd be very interested in the performance of Christian McLaughlin. The sideline caught on the far side. Send across. Mervyn Scanlon getting a stick to it. And now providing the clearance. Out in front of him to John Tucker. Will John keep it on the ground? He's hooked as he hits that one. By uh, the number eight, that's Paul Morrissey. Paul Amorico sending it in. And Paul has put another point on the scoreboard. Paul. 
um, Nakavilla Kickhams. Their fourth of the game is scoreline reads. Nina, 3-6, Nakavilla, four points. And uh, Fergal Hines seems to have taken an injury. Attention to Fergal Hines, and I can tell uh, viewers that we have played 17 minutes of the second half. Fergal Hines back in the action as Christina Dotson with the puck out going back deep into his own net getting his power behind it sending it out to the far side Open in the centre Mervyn Scanlon getting a one handed swing to it to John Tucker John Tucker up to uh, Kevin Tucker in feed into Robbie Tomlinson Robbie along the ground to Bra uh, Brendan Shanahan. A shot from Brendan and this one to the right and wide. That one grabbed there by uh, Fergal Hines. Out to the far side to Kevin Tucker. Kevin picks it up nicely. Looking up, has a shot and... Out comes the goalkeeper, batted out nicely by P.J. Horgan. Only comes out to Paddy O'Kennedy, a shot from Paddy and... Harlan Chesnown, Tony Miller, the Aerobe Dina. Three goals and six to four points in favour of Aerobe. And now five of the six Aerobe forwards have scored, and Aerobe men clash in that one. Broken in the middle to uh, Paul Morrissey. Try to lift the siege for Nakavilla. Broken down inside by cornerback Rory Flanley. Sent in by Nakavilla towards this side of the field. Out comes Dave McAuliffe. McAuliffe kicking it ahead of him. They play football in their oak as well. But that one goes all over the sideline. The sideline cut to be taken by Paul Morrissey. On this side of the field, cuts it in nicely. Broken down inside to uh, Aidan Henry. That grab in there by Christian McLaughlin. Tried to rock his way out of a sea of players. Succeeds in doing so, sending it outfield. Out to uh, Kevin Coonan. Back to Frank Bagrair. And Frank's clearance upfield. Stalemate cleared up by Vincent Fletcher of Nakavella. Broken back to Melvin Scanlon of Aero. Up towards uh, Kevin Coonan and uh, up towards Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie tried to walk his way in, succeeds in the way. Oh! Robbie Tomlinson the scorer. And that's just a gesture roll for Robbie at the ball a few moments ago came off the post. The scoreline reads 8 0, 4 goals and 7. Naka Villa, 4 points. And Robbie Tomlinson has scored 1 goal and 3 of Air Oaks total. A just miss needed in the Nakavella defence. There's also a Nakavella man injured at the moment. Of their reach, adjusting their forces. I see centre half forward Sean Buckley gone back to full back. Melvin Scanlon trying to get a stick to that one. It's broken eventually to wing back Tony O'Brien. Out to the far side too. Uh, Aiden Butler sent in and out over the end line and wide. The puck out by Crystal McLaughlin to this side of the field. Comes off the stick of the Air Oak man. And are we about to have an Air Oak substitution? The sideline cut sent in by Vincent Bradshaw. In towards uh, corner forward, uh, Aidan Henry. He's beaten the one in there by Fergal Hines. Fergal's clearance out to this side of the field. Two air open going up for one. Oh, is Robbie Tomlinson. Robbie's delivery in field. 
Torres Bryant, Brendan Shanahan. Brendan back to uh, the 15, that's Deki Onara. Deki Onara on a solo run, a loose man inside him. It's well read in there by Stainmate in there. Picked up eventually by uh, of Kennedy, I think, or 13, that's Kevin Tucker, a shot from Kevin in the point. Four goals and eight pounds for Nina, four points for Nakamela Kickens. And the referee just telling the players that there is seven minutes to go. As that ball broken to Paul Morrissey, Paul tries to lift the siege for uh, Nakavella up towards his corner forward, uh, Aidan Henry. He's, it's with John Tucker back helping out his defence, sending it up towards McAuliffe. That ball comes off the leg of a Nakavella man, I think. And out over the sideline. It may have taken the deflection, so it's an air old ball. This one to be taken by Dave McAuliffe. Left instead to Shane Connolly. Connolly's delivery up to this side of the field. Picked up by Paul Morrissey. Paul tried to walk his way out of trouble. Sox isn't going so. Hand pass it inside to uh, Bobby Alley. A man there was so much spoken about for him today. Hasn't produced the goods today. Shane Connolly. Gets it a torn attempt. Look to be fouled. Fergal Hines batting for it in there as well. Out feed. Out comes to uh, Bobby Alley. Tries to walk his way through a sea of players. And Fergal Hines challenges him eventually. Out to Shane Connolly on his knees. And the referee penalising the Nakavella man for a foul on Connolly. I guess Puck's there, the air old Nina. The free to be taken by Fergal Hines, and looking, I think, for that one will be Kevin Conan. He looks to, but he said ups to send it to Paddy O'Kennedy. Cleared out by central half back Aidan Snatchery to John Tucker to uh, Kevin Conan. Keeps it on the ground to Brendan Shanahan. Brendan Shanahan to uh, Kevin Tucker. Has difficulty lifting it. Loses possession. Ball broken back eventually to two air open. One of those is John Tucker, the midfielder. Gets room to swing his stick. Sucks in doing so. Sends it in towards uh, Kevin Tucker. Kevin in the corner, working his way around the fence, having a shot and sending it over the bar. Four goals and nine to four points in favour of Aero Glina. And as a county minor final, it certainly has fallen flat on his face. That ball to uh, Paul Morrissey. Paul tries to work his way, but he's fouled in possession and a free to be taken by Paul. Quickly taken, lobbed in around the house. McAuliffe getting a stick to it. Uh, McGrath, Connolly. Tony O'Brien for Nakavella. Comes off McCullough, a loose man inside. It's well read there by David Prima, the fullback. Cleared out to the side of the field. Coming very close to this sideline. Will be kept in play and succeeds in doing so is Paul Morrissey. Tries to walk his way in. Still Paul trying to lift the siege for Nakavella. Inside to Aidan Butler. Blocked in there by Christy McLaughlin. And Christy Stearns out to the side of the field. Out to uh, Melvin Scanlon. Melvin has shot his half block down to John Tucker. John keeps it on the move. Upfield, up towards the direction of Brendan Shanahan. Brendan and Sean Buckley batting for it. Out to Robbie Tomlinson. Gets away from his marker nicely. Sends it across field to a loose man. That loose man is the man Kevin Conan. But it's well right there by goalkeeper. Well, he's behind him. That's PJ Horgan. Going very close to his end line. Eventually gets his clearance out to the far side of the field. Out to uh, Aerobes, John Tucker. A lowest delivery across to Brendan Shanahan. Uh, Brendan sending it in. Out comes the goalkeeper and it goes out over the end line and wide. <laughs> 25 and a half minutes got, gone in the second half. A substitution on the Air Oak team. That's John Manley on the Air Oak team replacing uh, Declan O'Mara. Number 16 replaces number 15. And a double substitution, actually, I see. That looks like Robbie Tomlinson, is it? It's Kevin Tucker coming off as well. The ball with 
uh, Aidan Butler out to the far side of the field to Donny O'Brien back to Aidan Butler Butler tried to walk his way through Fergal Hines stands his ground out to uh, Shane Connolly Shane has difficulty eventually comes out to uh, a knock of Willem and that's the corner for with Seamus Cusson it's broken down inside and it comes all over the end line and wide eventually despite the efforts there of corner forward Aidan Henry Just seeing who's the Aerog second substitution. The ball sent out to the far side of the field. They made on the far side. Frank McGrath getting a boot to it. Pushed it ahead to John Tucker. John gets a stick to it eventually and lifts it. Sends it up field. Up towards uh, looks like Kevin Conan. Kevin a shot and Kevin a point. Or it's Robbie Tomlinson, Robbie a shot and Robbie a point and there goes the air of substitution again, number 18, David Callan. And the man to be replaced is... Uh, Paddy O'Kennedy, so it's David Callan on for Paddy O'Kennedy. With the ball with Shane Connolly to Brendan Shanahan. The two number 11s challenging one another. With David Callanan. Eventually with the knock of Villa. Man clearing it upfield. That was the cornerback, Vincent Bradshaw. Ball broken down inside to uh, Aiden Henley. A foul in possession and a free to Aero Mina. There's a knock of Villa man on the ground injured. That's The number 12, Seamus Hennessy, comes four points, and it's Seamus Cousin with the free, 26 or so metres out from the arrow goes, blocked there by Mervyn Scanlon. Into the hands of the number eight, uh, Paul Morrissey, Paul fouled in possession. And a 20 metre free to Nakavilla. This one to be taken by Seamus Cousin. All players outside the 20 metre line. Tommy Lundgren indicating the positioning of the free. Sends it in, blocked by Kristen McLaughlin, and he spends it at 65. And Christy making sure that he's going to keep a clean sheet in this county final. The 30 minutes has elapsed here at Semple Stadium. Can this be the last puck of the, the minor final? The 70 to be taken by Aidan Butler. Lobs it in around the house. Melvin Scanlon gets a stick to it. It's broken out to Kevin Conan. He keeps it along the ground. Broken back to Aidan Butler. Tries to work his way out of trouble. Looked to be fouled. Eventually referee giving him advantage by penalising him for throwing the ball so it's a free to Aero Nina and Tommy Lundgren looks at that watch again Fergal Hines the team captain who I'm sure now must be memorising a few words for his presentation speech The puck towards this side of the field, picked up by uh, wing back, our centre back Aidan Statry. Up to Robbie Alley, to Cousin, he's fouled in possession and a free to Nakavilla. This free. 50 metres or so out, taken in by Paul Morrissey and tapped over the bar by Paul Morrissey. It brings the scoreline to five points. It brings Paul Morrissey's total to two points. 4-10 to five points as Christy McLaughlin pucks the ball out to the far side of the field. Kevin Conan trying to get a stick to it and there goes the full-time whistle and they all have achieved what many people would think is the first part of the double. They are also in the county football minor final so Aerog 
win the county minor hurling final on a scoreline of four goals and ten. Oh, Ada Caroon Nina, Troy Colleen, left Kanaka Villa, and so the presentation of the cup to team captain Fergal Hines.
Captain Hurlis for the County Senior Hurling Final between Holy Cross Valley Cahill, the current holders of the Green Trophy, and Cashel King Cormacs, today's challengers. Both teams having the preliminaries, the, the referee John McDonnell in the centre of the field about to toss the, or about to have the pre-match photograph taken between both captains. Colin Butler of Cashel King Cormacs and Phil O'Dwyer of Holy Cross Ballycahill. The toss of the coin and the indications are that Colin Butler has won the toss. Colin will play. Colin indicating that he is going to play. teams. Starting with the casual team. In goals, Pat Staffrey, the full-back line. Right cornerback, John Doyle. Full-back, Tom O'Dwyer. And left cornerback, Rory Dewan. The half-back line. Right half-back, Phil O'Dwyer. Centre half-back, Michael Doyle. And left half-back, Benji Brown. Ilorna Parker, Declan Carr and PJ Lanigan. The half-forward line. Right half-forward, Paddy Dewan. Centre half-forward, Paul Staffrey. And left half-forward, Paul Maher. And the pre-match parade has commenced. The full forward line for Holy Cross Ballycahill. In top of the right, Tony Lanigan. Full forward to Ross Fogarty. And top of the left, Pat Cahill. The Cashel King Cormac's team. In goals, John Ryan, the full back line. Right cornerback, Tony Slattery. Full back, Pat O'Donoghue. And left cornerback, Michael Perdue. The half back line. Right half back, Ramey Ryan. Centre half back, Pat Fitzell. And left half back, Conal Bonner. Ilorna Parker, Colin Bonner. And Willie Fitzell. The half forward line. Right half forward, James O'Donoghue. Centre half forward, TJ Connolly. And left half forward, John Grogan. And the full forward line playing at top of the right, Tommy Grogan. Full forward, Cormac Bonner. And top of the left, Ailby Bonner. and that left with four centre fielders and Holy Cross are playing from left to right as we look on the pitch here at Semple Stadium. Today's referee, John McDonnell of Ross Gray, shaking hands there with Declan Carr. His linesmen are Brian O'Reilly of Kilowan McDonough's and uh, Barry, I think it's Hesson of Ross Gray.
Mercado. Ben just making way now, having played the national anthem. At any moment now, the 1991 County Senior Hurling final is underway. It's supposed to break away, it's Cashel to TJ Connolly up to the far side of the field. Shout out there by uh, Rory the One, sent in by. In that grab inside there by Paul Stanley, the, ho the Holy Cross goalkeeper, sent it out to the far the side of the field. Broken down there by James, or by Paddy Wan. Sent in field, in towards Tommy, Stat Tommy Fogarty, going, going out over the end line and wide. The puck out to be taken by John Ryan in the cash of goals. Sending it out to the far side of the field. Picked up over on the far side by uh, James Adonahu. Sent then field by Colin Bonner. Grabbed in there by cornerback Johnny Doyle. Outfield to Declan Carr. Keeps it on the ground. Only comes out to uh, Colin Bonner. Has difficulty lifting it. Succeeds in doing so. Hand pass it outside him too. He's on the midfield midfield, Willie Fitzell. Willie Fitzell across the field. Picked up there by Rui the one. Rory Stearns up to the far side, along the far side line, going very close to the far side and got all over the side and on the far side of the field. Cashel playing from left to right, or from uh, right to left in this game, from the town end goal towards the Kalainen end. And Holy Cross, of course, the holders playing from left to right from an empty Kalainen end. The sideline caught on the far side to be taken by Ramey Ryan. Town end. Ramey with the sideline side cut. Cut it along the ground towards the centre. Out comes uh, the number 10, that's Paddy Dewan, he didn't get to it. TJ Connolly does the set for Cashel. It's well read there by Phil Dewar, the team captain, out inside the field. Out comes uh, Tony Lanigan. Tonto, trying to get around his marker, succeeds in doing so. Tonto being chased all the way by Tony Statry. Getting back his cone, Albano, sends it in towards Tomas Fogarty. A shot along the ground from Tomas, first to the centre half forward. That's being Paul Stanley and a shot from Paul on the point. The first goal of the game, courtesy of Paul Stanley after two minutes. Monish on the crush at Coley Nawan as the puck out is taken by John Ryan. Broken in the centre, pulled it on the ground by Declan Carr. Broken to Colin Bonner. Connor on a solo run. Tries to walk his way past the Laha Challenger, succeeds in doing so to Willie Fitzell. A shot from Willie inside around the house, out up by the fullback. It's Tom Dewar. Broken inside to Johnny Doyle. Out to the side of the field. Out to the number 12, that's John Brogan. Across field, picked up there by uh, Phil Dewar. Referee penalising the cashman, or the fullback there. Tom Dewar penalising the cashman for a foul on Tom, and it's a free out too. Bonus to the Kosha Balakahal. Michael Doyle with the free, 20 metres from his own goals, in the centre, lobs it up, cross direction of Willie Fitzell who gets a stick to it, broken down to TJ Connolly, and can TJ equalise, no, sends it in low, towards Cormac Connor, Cormac and Phil Dewire, back to John Grogan, John Grogan tries to get around, uh, Michael Doyle has fallen in possession and a free to Cashel. Cashel King Cormac's trained and coached by Justin McCarthy. Holy Cross Belly Cahill. Their coach is Francis Lucknan. The famous man from Ross Gray. As the free is to be taken by Tommy Grogan, wearing number 13, and Tommy slots it over the bar. The score lines are level here at Semple Stadium. We have four minutes gone in the first half. Pat Statry with the puck out. Sends it across to the far side, picked up there by Pat Cahill. Send in fields, players fall as they come to that one. But picking it up nicely is Pat Fitzell, out to the centre to uh, John Grogan. John leaves uh, Dwyer in his wake. Grabbed up nicely by the midfield man, PJ Lanigan. But I'm afraid uh, John Grogan had fouled the Holy Cross man, and it's a free two. Holy Cross Belly Cal to be taken by Declan Carr. Declan with the free, taking plenty of care, but sending it to the left and sending it wide.
Sean O'Reen of Cash in the Moon, let's just puck him off a Hogan. Pucking it out. Picked up on the far side by James Anunaho. James on a solo run, being chased all the way by Benji Brown. Out to the far side, out to TJ Connolly. TJ looks up, he sends it in, and he sends it over the bar. Cash on the moon, got Colleen. Managed to the crush up by the Cahill. Colleen won. St. Fern changed his shot. He starts simple doorless ale as Pat Stadry pucks the ball out. Broken down by Colin Bonner to the far side. Pulled it on the ground by uh, Benji Brown. Far Holy Cross. Send in field. Well read there by Pat Fitzell. Leaves it behind him. Battling all the way there is the Cashman. Cleared up by Colin Bonner. They're further out the field by Willie Fitzell. Ball broken in the centre referee, Johnny McDonald penalising the Cashel or the Holy Cross wing back for a foul on uh, the Cashel man as he was making his way through. So it's a free to Cashel the Moon to be taken on the 65 metre line by the wing back, Ramey Ryan. Takes it quickly towards the number 13 as Tommy Grogan. A shot from Tommy is lobbing in front of the goalkeeper. It's still in play. Kept in there by Colin Bonner. Colin McBonner. It's well past that three batting for it out towards the end line. It's picked up eventually by cornerback Rui Dewan, and the ball got no hope on the sideline. Off the stick of the Holy Cross man for a sideline cut to. A sideline cut to Cashel. Send in to TJ Connolly. TJ shot going, going. Still in the, in the wind, broken down inside. It's eventually read by. The full back Tom Dwyer, he's fouled in possession and a free out to Cash on the Moon. A free out to Holy Cross. This free to be taken by Pat Slattery. He's almost on his own 14 metre line as he takes that one. Pat's delivery upfield, up towards, uh, pinned up there by Lanigan. Gets a stick to it there, was Fitzell. Kept it on the ground by Juan Paddy in field, in broken inside the goalkeeper. Referee waving play on a shot on the goal. A Cahill, a scorer. A bad mistake there by.